Hello guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make a project in Scratch where you just sort uh, these pieces of trash in bin so metal goes in metal, glass goes yeah. in glass, paper goes in paper, and if you put it in the wrong bin, it makes a sound effect and you don't get any points. So. So now, we need to put the one green flag clicked, set size to whatever size you want, I'll put uh, 50, make a block, call it clone, add a number input called amount, run without screen refresh and then now you have to put the new block underneath the set size uh, the in the input put as many clones you as you want to start with so I'll put five under in the define clone amount repeat put a repeat repeat a mount and then uh, create clone of myself put a uh, show and uh, hide now I already made this variable so set in the start we need to put set points to zero just make a variable named points you can delete this my variable also okay so set drag mode to draggable right here and then get the when I start as a clone just actually just put the show here put the hide here okay so when I start as a clone show go to pick random so go to X, pick random. You can put whatever you want here. So I'll just put pick random one, negative one hundred and eighty to one hundred and eighty. And then for here, I'll just put negative ninety to negative one ten, one hundred and ten. So, so now switch costume to pick random one to how many costumes you have. So I only have two costumes. So I'll do switch costume to pick random one to two. So let's test this. So as you can see, now it moves. Now you're gonna actually uh, drag it here. And you have different types of costumes and um, yeah. So now we just need to program the bins. So let's do a uh, two wait until's. The first one will be wait until um waiting wait until touching either 
paper trash can, glass trash can, or metal trash can. So let's put that here and then let's do copy that, remove everything inside and then put wait until not mouse down. Okay, uh, if else, put an if else, if touching, so I'm in glass right now, so I'll put glass trash can, wait, let me just fix that, that's uh, annoying me a bit, there, glass tr trash can, then change points by one, and then, uh, And then in the other one, we have just put like, just put nothing right now. So, and then delete this clone. Okay, so you have to find some sound effects for the correct and incorrect trash bins. So, if... So just if it's correct, get I will do which one? Uh, col I'll do collect. Yeah, that sounds good. And then here I will do for the wrong trash bin I will do oops oops why are they recommending me all of these should be easy to find oops here though so it should be loose yeah it's right underneath loose so start sound collect when it's touching the glass trash can and when it's not start down oops okay now so we need to drag all of these into the other pieces of trash so drag everything into paper and metal So now we also need to do put the drag the sounds into these other pieces of trash. So now if we drag paper into paper, oops, uh, oh right, we need to change these, these, uh, scripts for the paper, for the paper, change it to paper trash can, and then for the metal, change it to metal trash can. Okay, so, as you can see, I've added a little, you know, little green backdrop so that it doesn't look too bad and now if you test this out you put the p if you put the paper in the paper it changes points by one metal into metal changes points by one glass for every glass it changes points by it's points by one and if you put it in the wrong bin it makes a sound effect and it 
doesn't change in your points. In the trash cans, you should put something like this. Uh, when green flag clicked, go to X, whatever, where you want it to be, and Y, again, where you want it to be. And then, you also need to put the put it like this for glass trash can and for the metal trash can the glass trash can okay so yeah show your points variable okay so okay so if you wanted to always be spawning more trash then you want to uh, put a one green flag clicked forever in this stage set a new variable let's call it chance set and then hide the variable set chance to pick random one two three so it will pick any number one to, that is from one to three put an if here if chance equals one then create clone of glass and then let's duplicate this if it equals two oops uh... didn't mean for that to happen if it equals two then make it paper and then if it equals three then oops then it should be metal and then you can make it happen as often as you want so I'll put like every 0 0.5 seconds, so every half a second it will spawn new trash. So as you can see, you have a lot of trash here. So yes, this is the end of the video, so please like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!